free seminar that Silent Mike, Julie Fouché, and myself are doing at CrossFit Fit Club Columbus. So I'm hoping to fill these chairs up, but I know we're going to. So I'm excited. We're going to talk about squats, deadlifts, programming, and just teach us mostly for instructors and aspiring fitness professionals. So you got to love it. So spreading the whole just love of the industry and trying to just develop and educate, which I love to do. So can't wait to show you guys. I'm pumped to get the mic. So what we're gonna do is, Mike's been warming up, talking about the squat. What I, what I wanna to explain to you guys is just some programming out the gate. A lot of people know me because of the squat every day thing that I did on bodybuilding.com and Barbell Shrug, and it's kind of really went to CrossFit, powerlifting, bodybuilding, a little bit of everything. And so I wanna kind of explain how I kind of came up with that and how I kind of mixed, mixed a couple different systems and also to really stress that you are your best guinea pig, 100%. Like, if you wanna know about something, test it before you tell anybody. See if it really works, because the only reason why I know that this works is because I lived it. So I studied the Bulgarian system, which was literally the true squat every day. Now they picked this perfect percentage of person to go through this, plus tons of drugs on top of it. So I'm reading about this, and I'm drug-free my whole life. I'm like, can I squat every day, back squat and front squat? So I searched out the experts, which was John Bros out of Las Vegas who brought it to America. He's an Olympic lifting coach and I asked him and I read about him and I showed up at his gym and I learned. That's the one thing you guys will learn about me is if I wanna learn from you, I'll sleep on your doorstep if I have to to figure it out. So now you go to the Soviet system, which is almost like a true West Side, you know, conjugate method, which I love. Louis Simmons being here, I've learned off tons of West Side guys. My gym, the old school gym is West Side certified. Once again, 170 pound fitness guy. I asked Tim Harold, who deadlifted 855, who's six foot seven, 4'10", if he would teach me West Side when he came to my gym. He, good morning, 700 the first session, and I did 185. Like, but I still said I want to learn West Side, right? So, when I had been through, I got West Side certified, I had done the, the method for two years, I said, well, what happens if I squat it every day, but I use the conjugate? Constant varied, right? Right back to CrossFit. What happens if it's not just a back squat, low bar, heavy every day? What happens if I do a front squat pause, no bell for 10 seconds? Well, I'm gonna tap out a little faster. My nervous system still be challenged that the next day I could then go low bar and then I could program the, the variations were endless. So not only did I try it, I tried it for a month and I didn't tell anybody. Then the next month I started putting it on Instagram. Now, I'll be honest with you, like I had done only geared powerlifting for two years. I wore briefs for everything. I was all in. I was 240, I was, I was in it, right? I squatted 700 at um, 208 and at 198, both in gear. So I'd had some real, real weight on my back before. So my raw stuff was weak. So as I got bent, I never front squatted. So as I started doing the variations, I started putting it on Instagram. And then all of a sudden I started realizing like, all my raw stuff started going up and as I started doing Olympic lifting, I started crossing over and as I started doing bodybuilding, my legs were bigger. And what happened was, most people are scared of this. That's why the squat sucks. You have to get comfortable with it. You have to shake hands with it every day. And it doesn't have to be your all-time max. It has to be a daily max on that variable of that exercise. So my crew, which is 14 deep at four in the morning, nobody's scared when we go to meets. They squat every day. Now they're a little beat up from time to time. Everybody's also drug free, which a lot of you guys are too. And so you have to like manage that. But I would say is as you mix, as I mix these two systems, 540 at 181 in a meet, 550 at 198 in a meet. Not only did, did that go up, my deadlift went from 425 conventional to 550 conventional and I just pulled 600 sumo, weighing 200 pounds or under. And so, the, and then when I started doing Olympic lifting, I cleaned 300 with the first six months because I was comfortable in the squat. And so what I want to explain to you is not just does this work, because I know it works, but the fact that you might have what would apply to you, and as an instructor, you owe it to yourself to do more research and try stuff on your own so you can better help your people. That is the key. 
Because it might not be this. It might be, it might be three days a week. It might be five days a week. It might be deadlift every day. It could be just think outside the box. Because my whole goal is, is to create some stuff that's going to challenge people's thought process. Because you know how many times I heard you can't squat every day? I'm like, okay, well, it's not for everybody. It's okay. That's my answer. Pat him on the back. I know. It's cool. It's all right. We do, that's how we do it at old school. We, we're, we're trying to get it. So if you want to do it once a week and that works for you, that's fine. But what I noticed was I hurt worse when I squatted once a week than when I squatted every day. Because if, you know, a body in motion stays in motion, a body at rest stays at rest. And so if you compile that with the right program, you do some pretty amazing stuff. Testing on yourself is so key because one thing that bothers me more than anything as I feel like a leader in this industry is somebody asks me a question and I can't answer it. Now, I don't have to answer it at the level of what Julie did for the CrossFit Games or what Mike's done on his lifts, but I've lived it enough that I can answer how it applies to me. I'm not breaking world records. I mean, no question on anything I do. I'm a little, about, a little bit better, better than average at most things. But if you can talk about your process, that's the key. The, re the, the big part of the reason why I'm standing here is because I've told the story. It doesn't mean the story's been unbelievable, it's just the story. I got some pretty good stories from time to time, but for the most part, is it's about your path. And so as you tr try things on your own and test stuff, that's part of your story. That's what's gonna pump up the people that come to your gym or that look for you to advice. That is part of the key of what a lot of people are missing. I think I'm like a little bit psycho. Like I like the fact that I'm on display and I have to show up. I think it's important. I, that's why I like to go from, for 10 years, I went from event to event to challenge myself. Bodybuilding show, powerlifting events. So I think I've done about 15 bodybuilding shows, probably 30 powerlifting events, a bunch of different covers and all these things, but they're all events in my calendar. So for a decade, that's created content, which is huge for you guys as you grow your business, is content, telling the story. So I go from event to event to event. And I know when we're packing our gym and people are showing up for the meets or I'm going whatever, that I don't want to be the guy that pees down my leg. I want to be the guy that shows up. Even I teach my kids, like when it's time, you might not always win, but you're, I expect you to show up. And so you should expect that out of yourself. You guys are a leader in the community. Whatever you're doing, expect to show up. It doesn't mean that you're getting, I've had some of my best meets and got fourth in my own gym. In my own gym, because I had a bunch of West Side dudes that were retired that could beat me on their, their worst day. Like, when I scored 700, I got fourth in my own gym. It's unbelievable, but to me, but the internet didn't know that. I mean, that's, <laughs> but the key is that I think that when I walk up to the bar, uh, and Tony Ramos, who is, uh, is, is on the board of West Side at a 2060 total, said, People are here, whether they are or not, to see the show. Are you gonna like show up today? And, and do something they don't expect to see. And that's how I try to put myself, like, I want you guys to leave here and have real value today. I didn't drive an hour from my house to come and waste everybody's time. I expect that when you leave, you're gonna have value from what we're gonna share with you. And I think that you guys set up events and show up is big. Because you're supposed to be the leaders. That's why you're here, that's why you came down. And so when I walk up to this bar, and it's me day, and I'm looking at the same kind of crowd, I expect to win.
You just got done watching some knowledge bombs from Julie Fouché, myself, and Silent Mike that's over there doing some more content. Like you're supposed to be. So Julie, where can they find you on social media? On uh, Instagram, at Julie Fouché, Twitter, same thing, and my website, juliefouché.com, Facebook. And if you don't follow her, she's super badass and you need to. We appreciate you guys and hopefully Jake puts a really good video together. This is our outro and you learned a lot. And check me out if you guys need anything, go to CoreyGFitness.com and check out MaxEffortMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna work now. If this motherfucker comes at me. <laughs> All right, now, now shut your hand, close it real quick. Now put it on top. Put the coin on top of here. On top of what? On top of the phone. Oh, he got All right, so I gotta show you a magic. Put your uh, bottle down real quick. Is this what you just did over there and So hold this phone with this. You gotta hold this. I'm nervous. Put your other hand out. This is a magic coin right here, okay? So you gotta have that. And then, hold on a second. And then watch. Is it gonna move? Oh my god, oh my god. Sorcery. Oh my god. What is this sorcery? See it? How did you do that? See it? Now close your hand. You can't no. let it get away. You guys no, no, can't no. let it get away. If you don't, I don't like you gotta this. close it. Close no. it. She's scared. No. Close it. Now put the coin on top. Put the coin on top of the phone. No, with your other hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I know, I saw you.